everybody and welcome back to the Pokemon Gaia Co-op series here on the channel. I'm the Devil Massacre and I'm joined by Tron Boy. How you doing, Tron Boy? Oh, not too bad, not too bad. How are you doing? I'm doing good. My belly is filled with ribs. Oh, good. And, uh, I, I am ready to take on the day. In the last episode, uh, we went through a cave and encountered many cave-based things. Yes. And uh, here we are, on the other side of said cave. We also got um, a dive. Did some diving things. We did do some diving, and it was very complicated. It was surprisingly complicated. Uh, and I don't know, like, where specifically we're supposed to go? Uh, well... I'm, I'm, like, through the cave, like, officially. I, I'm also through the cave. And, like, I'm, like, uh, no, I'm in a town, so... Okay, did you go to the left or the right? The left or the right? When you came out of the cave. Oh, I, uh, if you go left, there's, uh, some stuff. If you go right, that's the way you need to go. Okay. So it's, the left gives you the bonus stuff. Yeah, there's a few extra things. One of which you need uh, rock climb for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I saw that and I cried on the inside. Ah! Okay, apparently when you walk into the town, there's shit. Oh! Well, shit! That, that, that's exactly my thoughts. <laughs> Do I have anything that will survive an earthquake? Nope, okay, cool. I'm gonna switch out to Kelly Kelly. <laughs> And I killed, and I killed, and I killed. <laughs> so, that's... Liter it's literally nothing but good. Okay, so I got the full heal. And down this bridge, there be a nose pass. Then there's a crustle. A crustle? <gasps> Yes, you don't f f fussle. With the crystal? With tr uh, god damn it. <laughs> Do you realize that there's another cave over here? <laughs> there is. That's the. That should be the strength cave. Oh, the cosmic caverns. Yeah, that should be the strength, or we couldn't do anything because we don't have strength yet. But you went to the lower area, and there's nothing to do in the lower area. I believe so. Like you can take a check. It's been, it's been like two hours. <laughs> Exactly. An entire two hours, my god. I was doing other things, so... How can we... How can we handle going so long without a recording session? I mean, to be fair, that is usually handled at least by me by watching the most recent episode. Valid, but Which still. is what I just did. I just watched our most recent one where, with, you know, with our... with the Dawnstone. Oh, uh, dude, good times. And just watching the the second of oh, Dawn's Dodo. I want to continue rock smashing these rocks because I remember a certain bitch who got a Larvitar out of one of these. I did. I have a suspicion it's probably like a rare encounter. I have a suspicion it's the fucking same shit, but also I want it. <laughs> True, very true. Because, like, I might have to decide whether I want to keep my team because my team is cool. Or, oop, that's Edishore Town. Is there anything over here where the surfing be? Uh, no, it seems pretty closed off. Did you get the, um, full restore? Uh. Past the Rock Smashers, there should be a Pokeball. Oh, yes, I did get that. All right. It, there's like a little rock thing over there that seems like it would have something, but it doesn't. No, oh, well. That's, sometimes it do be like that. Sometimes it really do be like that. All right, eat a shore town. Yeah, neither uh, of those people are very helpful. <laughs> <laughs> They're just like we have things, except not right now. <laughs> oh. Okay. Here? Uh, we're here. <laughs> oh my god! It's starting! Come on out! It's starting! This fucking bitch always bringing me to the weird shit. Is Dad bragging about the bridge again? Have you seen Gyarados Bridge? Yeah, I was the foreman on construction. It's only my life's biggest achievement. No biggie. 
<laughs> like, oh my god, Dad, we get it. You went to fuck your bridge. What do you have to say? Come on, let me Please talk to get you. this fucking love disc out of my party. Are you headed to Atsell City? If you are, you'll have to cross the Gyarados Bridge. It reminds me a lot of those huge bridges over in the Unova region. Ah, okay, gotcha. Oh, that's right, I can move my Pokemon around again. Um, and who else is here? Ah, Tentacle, get the hell out. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna have to cast the Gyarados Bridge. Have you heard about the Gyarados Bridge? Cause there's a Gyarados Bridge! Oh, wait, is this guy legit? I think there might be a way to buy stones. I mean... Did you know the Orbdis Elite 4 hails from Edishore? This same, same, that very same trainer is my son, I'm so proud of him. Yeah, there's a guy... Oh. <laughs> there's a uh, there's story when you go up from the Pokemon Center. There's a guy here and he's like, hee hee, I've got it all figured out, kid. I way to scam the system. First, I get my old man to lend me some pocket money. I buy stones from that dude's stall and crush him into shards. Then I use the shards to teach my Pokemon super rare moves. It's all those doofus move tutors want. Smart, isn't it? So apparently there's somebody here who may be selling us uh, some stones. Oh. <laughs> Come on, we don't want to miss it. Oh shit, it is that. <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> I just. Oh, never mind. <laughs> uh, Alright. I just noticed there was a rock climb to the left. <laughs> <clears throat> Welcome to the 200th annual Meteor Festival! Only a few generations ago, the very land we stood on was plummeting through space! The Edishaw Clefairy will perform the Meteor Dance, as is tradition! Let us watch in reverence. Looks like a shiny Clefairy. Cause its ears are green. What the fuck? How peculiar. Oh, Clefairy! Why have you haunted? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> it saw us and went, no! Alright, well that's not... That's not supposed to happen. <laughs> Clefairy! Why have you abandoned us? Earthquake! The mightiest fuck! Oh dear. Perhaps the Clefairy had a premonition of this earthquake. Such an event must have frightened it off. It's a Clefairy, not an Absol. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be serious! I traveled million miles for this ceremony! I traveled miles. <laughs> <laughs> this is the worst festival ever, you suck, old man! This blows. Boo! Boo! All this hype for nothing! I'm out of here! Me too! <laughs> <laughs> it's like a fucking raffle of voices. <laughs> Basically. Everyone left. My reputation as an elder is going downhill. And so must I. And he just fucking throws himself down the stairs. <laughs> oh god. You're still here, though. You wouldn't be interested in helping out an old man, would you? This town's all I got. My father and his father before him all bore the burden of running this festival. I don't want to besmirch their legacy. I'm fucking lightheaded, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you have any idea how much fucking oxygen you gotta push up for that voice? Oh, I have. I have a guess. <laughs> Will you help? Me? Thank you. I have countless tomes on the Eden Edishore Clefairy. Come with me to my house, and we can plan how to get it back. Teleport. <laughs> now let's see here. Ah, this is it. The book on Clefairy's origins. Let's take a look. The first sighting of Clefairy is in, Can in the Kanto region's Mount Moon. Clefairy arrived in Orptus after the meteor impact of Edishore. An annual dance is performed by descendants of the first Clefairy. This dance has been observed throughout Edishore. Attempts to approach dancing Clefairy has startled them. Research indicates that Clefairy retreat to the impact site. The specific whereabouts of this location, however, is unknown. This explains why our Clefairy fled, but it doesn't mention where it would have retreated to. Mm -hmm. The legends state the Cosmic Caverns were once meteors. 
Perhaps that's because they're the original point of impact. I think this should be the first place you look. Come talk to me when you find the Clefairy, okay? Hmm, if only there were some location that in the last episode I said, hmm, there should be something here. <laughs> if only there were... <laughs> and also a, a point that I made, which is like, hey, this this seems like... This seems like this holds something. Oh, okay, so basically we have to go and rescue the Clefairy before any of these fuckers will sell us any of their bullshit. Basically... I'm gonna go to the Edashore Observatory. I'm going to... Ah, so when we... We received this cast form in, from some colleagues in Hohen. I'll trade it for a shuckle. What do you say? <laughs> All right, just fucking offer me a trade of a shitmon for a shitmon. Yep, it's over here. Oh, it was here, and now it's gone. <laughs> Is this one of those stupid? Maybe one of those stupid mini games? Bro, did you just like not go through this at all? What? What through? Through what? The observatory. No, I figured I was. We were gonna find the Clefairy. Oh, <laughs> I'm playing a game with it. Um, is it just? Is it like multi-floored? Yeah, I mean, like I haven't found shit in it so far. That's part of the reason. Oh, should have come over here and gotten this upgrade, bro. Oh no. You could have. Could have had a <laughs> Porygon too, dude. Wait, how? I think you just probably use it as, like, an evolutionary item. I... I suppose. <laughs> oh, okay, no, wait, that's Gyarados Bridge. Uh, you're going to the right? No, you're going back down to the... to the caves. Oh, yeah. Sorry, there's just so much exploring that they let you do, like... You just can't do anything Fucking like actual Pokémon games could learn from this. Yeah. Okay, you're going that way. I hate. Okay, so I've checked. I haven't. Are you done here now? No. Are you. Ah! Over to the bottom now? Yes! Oh! Oh, it doesn't like that! It did. Oh, it reset. It's a. It is a puzzle? Oh! Oh, I see. It's a okay. puzzle? It is. Do not go. So you see how there's like two ways to go in like every area? Yeah. Do not go in the direction that Clefairy is facing. It doesn't like that. It just kicks you out of the room if you do that. Fuck, okay. So he should be over here now. Oh, so he's looking up. I went the wrong way again. Dang it. There you go. Over here. Over. Oh, over here. And then you go down. Awesome bullshit right there. Alright, and here. So don't go where he's facing. Yeah, don't go the direction he's facing. Alright, I have cornered the, 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 the thing. I've cornered the little bastard. Oh, okay, well. I had no idea that that was going to do that, so... Yes, I'm going to use out? another super. Did you get kicked out? Uh, no, because I'm safe state spamming. Oh. Fair enough. Because you think I want to fucking do this all day? No, I mean, it's too bad fair, it's not a difficult puzzle. No. Mmm, <laughs> boy poo oh, Apparently it's soothed by our kind approach. He agreed to come home. Yay! Waka waka, fuckweeds! Welcome back, everybody! Thanks to the brave efforts of the manager, the show can go on. Let's try this again. Welcome to the 200th annual Meteor Festival. The Eden Shore Clavery will try to perform the Meteor Dance. Hop, 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 hop. Woo! Woo! That was amazing! That was mad, that was worth it! 
I love eat a short town. I have a theory about my socks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining us, folks. Enjoy the rest of the Udish Shore Festival. I'm going to go drink myself into a stupor. I can't thank you enough, managers. You've rescued not only Clefairy and the Media Festival, but my reputation as an elder, too. Despite the fact I have not done fuck all. I can't ever repay you enough, but I do hope you accept this gift. It was handed down to me by my father. Here, your very own fucking master ball. <laughs> Let's fucking go, master ball. As a master ball is incredibly powerful, the master ball will capture any wild Pokemon you throw it at. Unfortunately, it's the only one I have. If I were a trainer, I'd save it for a truly special Pokemon. I trust your judgment. I'm sure a talented trainer like yourself will know when the time is right to use it. I will retire to my home now. Thank you once more, managers. All right, let's talk to the people. Hell yeah. Ah, this lady just sells eggs. Uh, eggs? Yeah, you know, like the things you hatch into Pokemon? Yeah. Apparently there's a super egg for 125000 I mean, I can afford that. I can afford it? <laughs> Bruh, I'm, I'm getting it. <laughs> Since you're paying extra, we'll give you some more choice. Which type of super egg would you like? Excuse me? Grass type, fire type, or water type? That screams, it's the starter! I'm gonna go with fire type, because I've got two starters for grass and water. You're right, but in my mind, what if it's a uh, what if it's the Hoenn starter? Uh, then I fucking want it. <laughs> Cuz it's no, place I, I, I meant for me. Oh. Um, I'm water egg. Sucks. I'm picking the water egg. I'm going to walk around town to see I'm the stone vendor. Oh, he oh, it looks like a daily thing. I'll sell to you for 8,000. Yeah, sure. Get them for, uh, stones. Oh, and this lady sells berries. Actually, the berries wouldn't be a terrible idea. Only because, okay. like, they're really, they're really cheap, basically. Can you buy lumberries? Um... I think I saw the map. I'm not sure. Let me see. New. Oh, uh, see, because that would be a hundred percent worth it if you could. Uh, also, keep in mind that you can sell a bunch of shit. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tron boy, this man exists to just make you hate life. What? Why? He is offering me three Dawnstones. Are you serious? Three <laughs> Dawnstones for 8,000. I'll take it. No, take it. <laughs> I hate you, but take it. Oh god. Oh, they're oh they're bad berries. They're, they're the bad ones. They're just the basic ones. They're not even the basic ones. They're the ones that heal HP but make you confused. What? What are you talking about? Other... We're talking about two different people, because this lady sells cherry berries, chestos, pecha, ross, asper, perthamon, orin. Wait, hold on. This is the one beside... Yeah, okay. It changes. It fucking changes! I presume it's the same as this guy, yeah. So they're you, they're different every day. Oh, what twats! Apparently, this girl got an egg and it turned into a riolu. I'm going to take a stab, but it's not ours, but, you know, just as a thought. Yeah? <laughs> It move. It occasionally moves. It should hatch soon. Well, you know what you that means. Yeah, you have a a Pokemon that allows you for that. <laughs> oh my I'm god! I didn't even fucking think about that, dude. Yeah, you have. Um... I have Talonflame. Yeah, you have Talonflame. I do not. So I'm just gonna run back and forth. Yeah, you you go run back and forth. I'm a. 
I'm gonna just quickly stick Rollins' hot body on my team. Oh, it's already actually already ready almost to hatch. Interesting. And, and uh, yeah, do not look at your screen for too long, everybody, because uh, <laughs> that's gonna suck. I got mine going, huh? Oh, so do I. Oh, I've already clicked it. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, my dude, I got a Tepic! Oh, it's random! It's also, it's a random it's... starter. Oh, and I got a Mudkip. <laughs> and you got the Mudkip. It's absolutely oh time. Oh my god, goodbye, my last toys. Hello, Mudkip. <sighs> uh... A man who is a pig. I'm calling you JBL. Oh, no, you know what? No, I'm calling you Jerry. What do I want to... What Jerry do I Lawler. What do I nickname you? God, Blue Rangers. I've got Billy, I've got Preston. Justin's already there. Water. Uh, man. Who's the one from Lightspeed Rescue? Blue Lightspeed. Right now, Lady Fortune is like, how do you <laughs> know? How do you not know? It's obviously... Uh... Asian man. Chad. Yeah. His name is Chad. Good old Chad. Alright, Chad it is. Okay. Let's take a look see at Chad. Hasty. Hasty's not terrible. No. Give the EXP share. <laughs> Get to the back of the team. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with my Arcanine for now, but by the way, just keep in mind, we can continue to buy eggs. The eggs, yes. I'm going to have to teach... For now, I'll teach it to... 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 what, go? Surf. Alright, so... I'll go find the upgrade? Yeah, uh, top floor, farthest left. Gotcha. <laughs> Just to save you from the bullshit. <laughs> That's the only thing here? Yeah. Yay, upgrade! Oh, I just got a jaw fossil, so... Fucking Where? Bullshit. Oh, I, I kept going to the left. <laughs> oh. By the way, if you have your rock climb on, can you uh, come over here to the left and tell me if this is worth it? Hang on. <laughs> I, I don't, but I can get it quickly because I'm right next to the uh, the place with the thing. No! Oh, do you see one of the cave en that cave entrance past the ledge? Something tells me that it doesn't connect to Frostbite Cave. Maybe it's one of those secret temples. Oh, so hello. Open up the chest. <laughs> A dragon fang! Oh, just in case you wanted a, uh, a Kingdra. Thank you. Oh, that's the old man. I'm going to put my rock climber away. Fire roar. Now, if I can just find a Swamper Tite, that would be pretty good. That would be pretty great. Uh, so we have this Frostbite Cave. Why are we in Frostbite Cave? Yeah, we went in through a different way. Huh. I guess this is a quick way back? That, or it's like an extra, like another part of it? Oh, there is... <laughs> There's a Megastone. What is the Megastone? It is a Glalite. My heart just stopped. Why? 
because I thought you were about to say a Galadite. No. If I found a Galadite in an ice cave, that would be quite the feat. Yeah. I am not, however, going to jump the ledge because I feel like that brings us back. Especially considering the mons that we're fighting in here are, like, no higher than 20 or 22. And Chad is now a Marsh Tom. He looks sufficiently less dead inside, but still dead inside. Ah, uh, and inside the Frostbite Cave, when you go up the ladder, uh, yeah. one of the rocks to the right gives you a Relic Band. That is the second most expensive item. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute! I am... Wait a minute, if I go up... Oh, never mind, I'm con I've got myself turned around. Okay, so... while so... you're going to do that, well, I'm actually, gonna... I need my... There's a... There's this rock slide here. Oh, that was the one I was talking about. Oh, that wasn't the Dragon Fang. There's a there's a rock slide in uh, rock climb in uh, the town. I'll oh, to, I'll go back though because I'm not in the cave yet, and it's not far. I'll go get my rock slide. I'm Mom. actually gonna grab mine as well, so I can grab the one in the town for the Dragon Fang. Yes, yes, good idea. Is it uh, at the top? Or, oh, there it is. I see it. Yeah, it's like right by the exit. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna quickly go. Let's see what this brings. Hey, wait for me, wait for me. Bursaring. There's a guard spec there. Oh, I see, and this would let you go back. Well, I am standing in front of the door whenever you're ready. Uh, got that guard spec. And I'm ready to go in, let's go! Yep, it's another little thing. Another chest. With Psychic! Psychic in it, cool. Let's actually go. Okay, now I'm going to hit up Ali to fly. To... When was the last place we were at? Presimos? Presimos is the... Yes, no. yes, yes, that's where I wanted. Okay, well that's the last place with a gym. Ida Shore is where we just came from. I wanted to go back to Presimos so that I could sell these things. Ah, yes. Oh, no! My relic gold. And my $100,000 relic band, which is the third highest. Oh, my bad. The relic statue gives you 200 grand, and the relic crown gives you 300. Huh, neat. It's... It is almost worth grabbing another one of those secret... Or those, um... Super rare eggs. <laughs> yeah. Because I... I kinda want a Blaziken, I'm not gonna lie. A Blaziken would be pretty... Would be pretty good, yeah. Okay, so this door... Is Edemus? Oh, okay. And then, yep, this is over here, back in Miss City. Okay, I understand how it connects now. Oh, uh, need to. Oh wait, I realized there's something I didn't get. Where was the relic band? Uh, you go into the cave up the ladder, and. It's in one of the rocks to the right. In the cave up the ladder. Is there a way to go up? A yeah, oh, up, yeah, up that ladder. And it's up in the, one of the rocks to the right. Ah! Neat. Yeah. Okay, so I, I, I will now go to Presumus Town to make a deposit. Now, Just... I want to see if it's different every time. I would 
presume so, because we've got two different generations. They could just be one from every generation. The grass one could be fucking Chikorita for all I know. Yeah, it's different every time. Why would you get this time? I got a Cinda Quill. Okay, so you can eventually get a... So I want to just see if I keep reloading. And I just save scum the fuck out of it. Uh, if I can get something new. Alright, I am back in Pressimus Town. Oh, no, I don't care about you. Alright, well, it turns out I can save scum, so that's good. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Good, good. I just good save to... in front of the guy, and then I run back, and I grab my Talon Flame. So, At Sail City is where we're going next. Yeah, that's crossing the Gyarados Bridge. The Gyarados Bridge we've heard so much about. Yeah, I'm on a bike. Da 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 da. I am on a bike. Please give me a tour check. Or you could give me a Charmander. Should I go with Charizard? <laughs> because the thought of having a Megazard X is actually pretty cool. Yeah, that would be pretty. That would be pretty nice. Hmm. And that would give me my flying typing back. It's basically Talon Flame, but infinitely better. Infinitely better. Uh. All right. I, I want to check something. Uh. So I'm gonna name it something. So it's a dragon. It's a male. Uh. I'm gonna call it Debry. Debry. For Daniel Bryan. Ah. Because in the Indies, he was known as uh, the American Dragon. I see. And not, in fact, Jake Long. I was. I totally wasn't thinking that. Why would you think that? <laughs> uh. Now I want to check something. Okay. Oh, wait a second, why wouldn't I call you Ricky? <laughs> why wouldn't I call you Ricky for Ricky the Dragon Steamboat? Because you fail at life. I do kind of fail at life. Alright, well, it's nature doesn't change, so fuck me, basically. <laughs> Aw, that's unfortunate. Uh, yeah, because fucking... Uh... Charizard's a special attacker, isn't he? Char- yes. Yes. I and I got a special attack decreasing nature. <laughs> For anybody who watched me do that, yes, I did that on purpose. I wanted to see if maybe Chad could win. It didn't work, but you never know. Ah, uh, fuck my life into pieces. Am I really- am I really gonna do this? I mean, I rolled with a fucking Adam and- uh, Glaceon for a while. Yeah? I've also got Hidden Ability. What is the Hidden Ability? Uh, Solar Power. What is Solar Power? Uh, trades HP for damage in when it's uh, Sun. Ah, I see. So that is interesting. It looks as if uh, but I will be putting away some bitches. Rollins, you can go back to helping your wife. <laughs> and Sasha, you're, uh, you're getting put on the shelf for a second. I'll come back and get that charcoal later when you're not level one. For God's sakes. You're a Durant. Die. Chad is level 20. So, 
I think now is a good a time as any to wrap up today's episode. And to, uh, the, in the next episode, we're going to go across Gyarados Bridge. Or be halfway on it. <laughs> or be halfway on Gyarados Bridge. <laughs> uh, and I've got a little mini dragon to start training. This and, I've got interesting. An and I've got an axolotl to train. God fucking damn it. <laughs> But if you guys like this episode, find a way to make that like button your bitch. Follow me on Twitter at Time for a Massacre. That's a numerical four. It's on screen and linked in the description below. You can also follow Tronboy at Tronboy that a one. On screen and linked in the description below. But until next time, I'm the Evil Massacre for myself and Tronboy. That's the four one one.